In this video, we're going to take a look at a distance problem where we're giving a total time in the problem. We will still organize our information in the same distance table, remembering that rate times time is equal to a distance. Here, we have two campers who leave their campsite by canoe and paddle downstream at an average speed of 12 miles per hour. Let's put that in our table. Speed is our rate of 12 miles per hour. They turn around and paddle back upstream at an average speed of 4 miles per hour. This is our rate going the other direction. Notice they have gone down and upstream. The total trip took 1 hour. How much time did the campers turn around? We are given in this problem the total time of 1 hour. That does not represent 1 hour down and 1 hour back because they would not make it back to their original spot, traveling so much faster downstream when the water is pushing them. 1 hour represents the total time. We don't know how long they traveled downstream, so let's call that x. If you recall, when we're given the total and we use up part of it, we subtract that part, or 1 minus x, for the second part to show what's left. Notice, when we take total minus x and add it to just x, the x's would subtract out to 0 and we're given the total time of 1 hour. We're now ready to calculate distance by multiplying rate times time to give us 12x for our distance downstream and 4 times 1 minus x, distributing to give us 4 minus 4x for our distance down upstream. Notice in this problem, though, we are not told the total distance the campers travel. Instead, we're told that they travel downstream and back up. Notice how these two distances compare. They have gone downstream and back to their original campsite. While one is faster than the other, and one took more work than the other, they both cover the same amount of time. I'm sorry, the same amount of distance. I used the wrong word there, the same amount of distance. In other words, these two distances for up and downstream are equal to each other. The 12x is equal to the 4 minus 4x because they're both the same distance. The distance down is the same as the distance back up. Notice the picture almost looks like an equal sign. 12x is equal to 4 minus 4x. We can now solve this two-step equation by moving the variable to the same side, getting rid of 4 negative x's, with 4 positive x's, giving us 16x equals 4, and finally dividing both sides by 16 to get x is equal to 1 fourth. The amount of time they traveled downstream was a quarter hour or 15 minutes. It then took them 3 fourths of an hour to get back upstream when the current was working against them. When we're given the total time, we must remember that the first time is unknown and the second time is 1 minus the first time. 